What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, checking out Spirit Box Secret Garden. I just listened to Hurt You, so it should have been uploaded like yesterday, probably. Yesterday for people watching. For me, it was minutes ago. But whatever. It's a, it's Terminator 2. Everything's all fucked up. <laughs> the timeline is all screwy. Uh, and it was so good. Hurt You was so goddamn good. I immediately had to check out another single off that album. I believe it's the same album. And this is Secret Garden. Let's do this. Hit the like. Hit the dirty little notification bell. They're absolutely cooking here. Cooking. I'm talking about, normally she stands out as by far the star. Of the four songs I've heard from them, she stands out as the megastar, and they're just doing their job, but doing it, and doing it well. But here, holy moly, they're absolutely just <laughs> hibachi. First of all, first of all, so Courtney LaPlante turned into a plant? 
That's fire. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. But the song overall was good. It was good. It could have been great, though. It could have been great because the chorus is fantastic. All you got to... All, for me at least, all I needed was a little harsh vocals on the final chorus. Right at the end. Right at the end. I, I, it felt like it was coming. It did. It felt like it was right there. And it would have been a fucking... It would have been a home run. Instead, it was a good song. Actually, pretty damn good. I just know she can kill the, the harsh vocals. And this song felt harsh vocally. Like... The chorus felt like it needed it. It just needed it. Again, not for every chorus, but that final one, that would have been awesome. Absolutely awesome. And did anyone else get like heavy ginger vibes from the bass guitarist? That that it sounded very ginger, like the way it was they, they were tuned or playing it. Extreme ginger vibe vibes there. They probably go on tour. Who knows? That could be part of the correlation. But yeah, good song. I liked it. I just wish it had a little more of her harsh vocals here. This song literally felt harshy. You know what I mean? Like It needed that little sprinkle of spice on it. That's all. I will say, though, she's one of the weird singers that I don't know which she's better at. Harsh or cleans. Usually, one or the other is the person's strength. That's just usually how it works. Uh, Ginger, for example. Oh, man. A beast. Absolute beast. Tatiana, I believe is her name. Harsh. She is an absolute goddess at untouchable. Cleans, she's good at. But nowhere close to as good as she is at the harsh. You know what I'm saying? Courtney, I actually don't know which I prefer. She's very good at both. That's all I'm saying. Not sure. It's kind of Corey Taylor-esque. Where very, very, very good at both. Which is why I fucking needed a little harsh at the end there, man. It low-key broke my heart. I could probably... You could probably see the moment my heart broke on the video. Right before the last chorus. I could feel myself sigh. I'm not sure if I actually did. But my heart low-key broke a little. Because I was so ready for this to turn... Just turn up this song to go up a few notches on the all-time list. But let me know what you guys think down below. Hit the like. And if you think I'm an absolute buffoon for thinking it needed harsh vocals at all, and this is a piece of perfection, then that is fine. Let me know in the comment section. And if you are still here, then you are a real one.